what advice would you give someone starting a career in automation? For anyone who is going right away with, who is starting with a career, so don't look right away with the certification because certification comes along with their experience. So once they are good with around one to two years of experience, at least with six months of experience, um, then we have two kind of certifications, two certifications specifically, one for the UI RPA and the other one for UI ARD, and we also have something for UI for the business analyst. Uh, certification for the business analyst. Once they are pretty sure that they know the basics and then they can go ahead and start preparing themselves from the certifications and that's how they're going to get it. What are the first steps to take when starting an automation career? There are multiple tools in the market right now and UiPath is currently leading the market so you should definitely learn what is and how to work with UiPath and uh, as a tool. Along with that, UiPath also supports some kind of uh, programming languages like C Sharp and the background as well as uh, VB.NET. So if you are going to an established organization, they already if they already have bots, then they will be working with VB.NET as their um, core language. So that's what you just need to start with. And then also along with that, you just need to learn the tool. And then you can also move towards C Sharp, which uh, is currently where Microsoft is uh, moving towards. So then start with the basics of C Sharp as well as UB.NET. In what ways do the UiPath certifications enhance an individual's credibility and expertise in their field? When we are coming with the certifications, there are two kinds of certifications that we have. One that's provided by UiPath community or academy platform. The other one is the paid certification that we already have. Now, for someone who is going to start their careers, no need to start immediately for the paid certifications. Rather than that, they can go with UiPath um, academy-based certifications, where we have done a lot of courses as well as the certifications that they can grab in every time that they complete uh, some kind of video and answer some questions at the end. We also have something called UI um, advanced certification as well as a beginner certification that they can get. So, just try to plan uh, for the academy certifications which are free in the beginning and once they are done with the certifications of the academy and the best part of academy certifications is you can just pick up any course and you can go ahead and learn and you can, you can get a certificate so i initially had with academy certifications i have each and every certification that i can get off uh, from the academy and what it exactly does is it will boost up your confidence on the way how you speak and how you communicate with the product leaders as well as uh, providing solutions also uh, the way how you provide solutions will be in a better format or you will give an exceptionally well answers and you will give best solutions so while also completing the certification the main core agenda is to know, know about the platform so how the robots gets connected and how the architecture is being built and how the business uh, um, users are going to communicate with the other end users and along with um, the best part about um, business analyst certification as well as solution architect certification they also contains what are the templates that we must use rather than just going and writing some code that's that's absolutely the important topic that we must cover but the communication that we must do with the stakeholders as well as the templates that we must do and we must try to learn and understand so these are absolutely covered directly in the academy certifications itself so go ahead and take them right away considering the shift from standard rpa to ai powered automation what other products or skill sets should be included in the future certifications until uh, now whatever you have seen is at the tip of the iceberg that you have seen and whatever we are going to see from now uh, is hyper automation where we are going to deal with a lot of AI services. Now, UiPath is a platform that we have. Now, that platform we can utilize to build in or to integrate any kind of AI services that are available outside. Now, all we need to think of is how to and what is the best AI services right now that are available. Like understanding ChatGPT is important, but understanding the core concept of LLM makes a difference with your expertise and the way how you provide the solution. There are all kinds of developers. Why choose becoming an automation developer? If you're an automation developer, you can uh, now 
you can be at anywhere in your career and you can still be an automation developer you are a novice in co- uh, well coding uh, you don't know what how to code and you are an expert as a coder still you can be an automation developer bringing in uh, an enterprise platform like uipath uipath right now is having web web studio as well as a studio for business users and we right now have coded workflows that brought in that will bring in lot of change where you don't even need to write code and uh, write activities for it you can just plug in whatever code that you have you can just bring in and yepath is also bringing up something called as uh, auto uh, completion of code that people need to just uh, feel and understand how to work with it now once they know and understand um, again automation developer is for everyone it's not only for the only for the beginners or advanced developer it's for everyone so everyone can come as and join as an automation developer how do you ensure that you're always up to date and progressing on this path what learning up skilling resources do you use so one of the major resource that we can utilize is uipad docs as well as uipad forum so these two platforms are what you just need to constantly look forward because every time uipath makes an update it first releases a beta version and as soon as the beta version then uh, we will it will be moved to the community version so if you want to learn something new and if you want to be upfront in the market you just need to follow what's there in the behind not what's there in the community uh, in the learning platform but you should also know what's happening at the big background like uipath forum as well as you have docs that's where you're going to get the best answers from what motivates you to keep up skilling and stay among the very best i would consider myself still as a learner but while saying that you have the mvp the badge or the tag line will definitely give in a lot of uh, the power as well as lost a lot of responsibility that comes on along with this tag so when we are uh, so for anyone who wants to become an mvp or some someone who wants to be best at what they are doing with ui path all they need to do is they need to continuously build the code and they need to continuously share information with lot of people well when you are trying to become an mvp uh, you should always keep in mind that staying to yourself will not be a beneficial uh, for the platform as well as the community members so ui path community or mvp will be for the people who exactly know how to communicate with wide range of people so that the reach is exponential throughout the platform